Okay, we're at Lunpair. Lunpair. Did I say it right? Lun. 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 Pair. Lun Pair in Thai Town. At Lun Pair, one of the oldest Thai restaurants. Um, and honestly, bold claim again, best Thai restaurant in Thai Town. It's always crowded. And you know a good Hot Thai man. restaurant? <laughs> when there are Thai people eating at the Thai restaurant. Exhibit it. And it's come here, <laughs> right here. <laughs> Double right here. So, yes. We're here, we got a freaking feast. A little feast here. Yeah. And I wanted to show Daniel Thai dishes that you normally wouldn't get were not the most popular ones, right? Yeah. Like I didn't get him a typical papaya salad right. or the pot thai or the pot si or the tuck The way that I would explain this is like the dishes that white people might get. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that. <laughs> you can say it. I was just saying Americans, right? So I just like Americans, like, yeah. Because we're man. like, we'll go towards the, the obviously the pad thai, or a, a, maybe a yellow curry. <laughs> yeah, or a pad siu. A pad siu. Uh, and sometimes lab, lab is like super popular now. I think. I just recently had that for the first time, like at the night market. Okay. This, uh, how do you say it? Because I say siam because I'm white. Siam. It's siam. Okay. I was afraid of that. <laughs> when you said it, I'm like, oh, you, I remember you asking me, and then you still said it. Like, <laughs> I was just thinking of the king and I. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, that's yeah, where. Yeah. Well, that was based on Thailand. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so what we got here? All right, I'll explain the dishes. Yeah. We got a papaya salad with raw crab. So, typical somtam, so Thai papaya salad. Budong means, you know, the raw crab. So, this is very synonymous to the viral you know, Korean marinated raw crab. Mm -hmm. We put it in our salads, and you can eat it pretty much straight up here. And usually papaya salads will have these long green beans. Mm -hmm. The salad dressing is usually fish sauce, lime, sugar, garlic, and Thai chilies. And then you have these other little sides like dried shrimp, cabbage on the side. Super herbaceous and very citrus for it. Yep, and we just did that for the the LA salad competition, yeah, the LA salad competition, which is in full swing right yeah. now. And I made bold claims there too. So bold claims are happening. That'll be in a short video. Right. Uh, all right. So what do we have over here? And this one's the Isan sausage. So this is part of the northeastern part of Thailand. Okay. And this is a fermented sausage. So there's like sticky rice in here, and the actual sausage in itself, the sausage in the sausage. Oh, okay. It gives okay. it a little bit of texture. Uh -huh. And then you have these other sides here as well. So you have red onions, ginger. Um, roasted peanuts, there's a lime right here for more acidity, and you have this cabbage, so you put it all together in one bite. Usually there are more Thai chilies here, but I think I'm with Daniel, like, oh, he probably doesn't eat any spice, you know? So maybe that's they just, why. They whiten but, it you, up. but usually they have some Thai chilies you can bite on the side for the extra spice. Okay. This dish over here is called Lat Na. It's based off a Chinese dish. Um, but it's similar, to, how I would describe it is pot siu with the gravy sauce. Okay. Because it has very similar elements like the Chinese broccoli. Uh -huh. Same flavor profiles of the noodles, the white noodles. Okay. And then you have a protein. Cool. What kind of protein do we have? Chicken? This one's pork. pork. So usually, oh, it is pork. Sorry. So usually lad na, I mean Thai people usually eat a lot more pork, pork than okay. chicken. Uh -huh. We do eat chicken, but lad na typically will have pork, pork for the most part. Okay. And then the last dish we have is a Thai red curry, but with duck. So putting a little bit of twist love on it. the classic uh, red curry. I love curry, Thai curry, and I love duck. There you go. So everything should be good here. Right. Are you ready, ready to dig in? Let's yeah. do it, yeah. Yeah, grab some rice. So you can do it. Yeah, I'm grab some rice. Okay. So I'll show you guys how to eat the sausage first, actually. So okay, I usually right. grab a bit of cabbage, a uh -huh. little bit of the Isan sausage here. Red onion, a little ginger, and then peanuts. And pretend there's a chili on there. Sometimes we'll do a little squeeze. A lime. Lime squeeze. And then we are really close, like me and Daniel are, we'll feed each other. Can we have a stew pork left over at the go? Mmm! Yummy! No, it is really good though. <laughs> so why don't we try some more of the salad? Uh -huh. Different video, I guess, but yeah. super herbaceous. And what kind of salad has dancing crab in it? You know, so. I don't know the answer to that. Remember the raw crab, all the meat in here? Mm -hmm. You just suck on it. You want to grab one of the little oh, yeah. crab in your hand? Just go with your hand. A little suckage? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So it's surprising, but it's like very like sweet, like like a, actually sweet. like a cooked crab, because the acidity from the salad, and the lime, cook a little bit. It's still raw, but you really get that sweetness from the crab you wouldn't normally get from a, a normal raw crab. You know? Yeah, yeah. All right, want to give the curry yeah. a bit a try? So, what's the proper way to do this? 
I mean, you just throw the curry on the rice. On the rice. Curry, yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I curry would curry have done, but I just, I was yeah. scared. Oh, you don't be scared. Well, I was scared that I was going to do it, uh, you know. There's no wrong way of eating it, guys. Like, it's all good. All food, these, like, right? purists when it comes to food. Eat it however you want. There's a certain way to eat it that'll maximize the flavor. Sure. But if you want to eat it any way you want, you know, go ahead. I've seen some people straight up just eat the curry without rice. Yeah. I think it's a little weird because there's so much flavor. It's not really a soup, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not a soup. Yeah. So like the rice usually balances it out. But you know, you can eat that way, that way too. I've seen people do that. So. Do however you want. Yeah. Exactly. Make duck, so it has a little duck ear ties, potatoes, uh, Thai basil, and then red bell pepper. Mmm. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, I know. Get get duck as your protein for the purpose. Dude, I love duck, and I never have duck. Bite for you guys. Mm. I didn't realize there's a pineapple in there. Usually, Thai mm. curries don't typically have pineapple, but it was a good good element. To bite. Especially with that duck, I feel like that little bit of sweetness mm. and that right acidity kind of helps balance it out. Yeah, you know, this is ladna. It's like a gravy sauce on top. Okay. Same elements as the pot siu. So you have the Chinese broccoli, mm -hmm. pork, and then the flat rice noodles. What is the sauce? So usually they'll use a broth to make the sauce, okay. and then you'll add like cornstarch to thicken it up. Yeah. And you'll usually season with a little bit of um. So these are like soybeans in here for like okay. a little saltiness. Uh -huh. And then you season it with the typical stuff you would also season um, your pot siu. And then the cool thing about Thai noodles, we didn't know this before you eat them. I didn't. There's oh. a condiment tray. So just a little, you know, history with Thai Thai noodles at least. They always come with a condiment tray. So when you go to Thailand, uh -huh. this tray will always go with you. So even there's some noodle shops, uh -huh. and maybe one day we can check it out. Yeah. They'll always bring this to you. So Thai people can adjust flavors to your liking. Oh, right? okay. So you always have an acid. This is like a chili vinegar here. Okay. This vinegar, red, red chili. Red sir. chili yeah. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. For some spice and more acidity. Then here you have just straight up sugar. Oh. So add some sweetness. Uh huh. And then of course, you can't forget about the spice. That's just plain. That's just Thai chili flakes, roasted, blitzed up in a food processor usually. So if you're a spicy guy, you'll add a bit of this. Should I add something before I put it in my mouth? So for me, usually I'll add a little bit of vinegar. It'll brighten it up. Okay. That's usually the typical thing they'll add with um, ladna, uh -huh. gravy noodles. Thank you. And just mix it up a bit. Just a little bit, a uh, little, little, little. And then, of course, if you like more spice, get more spice. I see. Okay. The Thai people really do this so they can adjust their own flavors. Yeah, Some yeah. people like it more sweet, like it more sour. Uh huh. So yeah. the chefs will be like disappointed. Oh my, my God, you add like some extra seasoning. Yeah. We'll Everyone give has you the base. Yeah. You make it yours. You because I feel like Thai palates are so diverse. I think anybody's palate is so diverse. Sure. But specifically Thai, because we have so many flavor profiles mm -hmm. that you want to be able to adjust to your like. And I feel like everything should be done that way. In my opinion. Yeah. At least when it comes to food, you should be able to adjust yeah. certain elements yeah. to your liking. You know? I'm, a, I'm all about that. Yeah. So yeah, give that a try. Okay. Let me know. Cheers. Oh my god, that's so good. But am I not right about it being similar to like pot siu, but just with the definitely similar with the gravy sauce? Mm -hmm. The sauce has more just more flavor, more depth yeah. to it. Because it coats the noodles, you know? Yeah. And that little thick sauce. And then the, I think, I honestly, I think the meat is more tender in uh, Ladna. Mm -hmm. Just because they actually use the velveting method that the Chinese use. Mm. You know the velveting method? Is? Nope. So you do the velveting, I think they'll add water and cornstarch together. Okay. And that cornstarch will marinate in the protein, giving that like layer of coating on the outside. I see, I know. So it makes it a bit softer. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But well, this is one of the dishes my mom used to make all the time. So oh, really? One That's of the most com like comforting dishes. Yeah. Now, in, I don't know, in Thai culture, like, what would be, would this be like a Tuesday night meal or a Friday night meal? <laughs> I'll say this. This is like a mix mash of stuff. Uh -huh. I would say most of the stuff wouldn't really even be eaten together. Okay. If that makes sense. Cause if you're going to do rice, uh -huh. you'll stick to a bunch of dishes that'll go good with rice, like a curry. Uh-huh. Maybe even a soup, maybe like a stir fried dish. Okay. You know, and you'll eat it with the rice. Would you do just one of those, like for a Tuesday night? Would you Sometimes just have rice? Whether it's a rice dish, uh -huh. 
We have like two or three in a little bit. Maybe like a, oh, okay. you know, something soupy, maybe something I see. veggies, and then maybe like a meat dish, right? Okay, yeah. Because this, the noodle dish, would be a standalone dish. You would just order that this from a vendor, on its own. Okay. market, or make it uh, yourself. It would just be a dish on its own. Okay. These two dishes would go together because they're from the same region, the northeastern part of Thailand. A lot of Lao influence from these foods. And this would usually be eaten with sticky rice. So sometimes you'll have like another salad, maybe like a beef salad. Oh, or, grilled, okay. or grilled chicken. Uh -huh. That'd be that type of style. I see. So this would be like a you know like a Sunday roast sort of meal. Oh, from okay. that region, you would want to eat from the same from the same region. same region. Eat it together. You know? That makes sense. Noodle yeah, dishes yeah. will be standalone. That's on sometimes even curry would be could standalone. be its own thing. Exactly. Okay. I feel like sometimes when you go out for a Thai food, it's like because I don't have it every night of the week. Right. I want all of those flavors. <laughs> you know, I want exactly. as much as possible. I'll just say this, one of the, I think it's the best restaurant mm. in, in Thai town. What do you think of all the dishes, Jeremy? Yeah. This is your first time trying pretty much all these dishes, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I love them all, first off. All right. They're all so unique. They, feel, they fit different, like, things that I might want. Things yeah, that I might that like, true. you know? That, I want any rainy day. Mm -hmm. Super comforting. Comforting foods, just, yeah, just feels good. And then the curry, I, I wish I could... I wish curry replaced water. Because <laughs> I want to drink it. I just want to chug it down. I just want to always. And you got curry. that duck in there, you know? That's like that. I feel like you've had red curry, duck. but the duck adds that extra the duck is amazing. element. I don't see that pineapple. I like pineapple. pineapple too, I yeah. usually don't see it in curry so much, but the pineapple and the curry. A good refreshing bite. It's Lu and uh, Pear. Yeah, Lu and Pear. He got it right. That's good. Good pronunciation. Thank you. In Thai Town. In Thai Town. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, and they just recently renovated, so interior looks really nice. And they also have a dessert shop right next door, owned by the same people. So if you're done with this delicious meal, and because we're about to feast pretty soon, we're not going to yeah. destroy ourselves in front of the camera. For right, you. exactly. Yeah, but right out there, you can get desserts right after in the same plaza. So come check out the Unpair. Yeah. Uh, Thai approved. Also, best Thai restaurant in Thai town. Maybe in California, I'm gonna maybe go even further, but you know, we'll stick to, to Thai Town, okay? Best, best Thai restaurant in Thai Town. The other best restaurant that's Thai, but is in Hollywood proper, is uh, Siri Tong Foods, ah, okay. Chef Cot over here making Thai tacos right. at the Siam Night Market every weekend. Yeah, every Fridays and Saturdays, 5 to 11, Siam Night Market. So I don't do authentic Thai food, I do Thai tacos. Yeah. So I grew up in LA, ate tacos my whole life. All my homies are like Latino, so I, you know, just grew up eating tacos, right? Like LA natives know that. Yeah. And I wanted to put my element on it, which is like more Thai flavors, Thai taste. So yeah, give me a follow at Siri Town Foods. Come check me out. Also follow me at uh, Katsu Munchies. That's my own little food food Instagram where I make content on there as well. Yeah. Sweet. This is awesome. Let's go to town. Yeah. Let's let's go to. Okay. Thai let's town. shut this off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>